Yeah, our first one was supposed to be Wednesday night by Thursday. Okay, um, let me go ahead and switch it over real quick so people on the live stream can watch. Um, wow, I have not posted that, have I? Yeah, I failed to post a quiz for this class. So I will do that. Um, my apologies. I'll do that right now. Have you graded the other two yet? Some of the other two. I've graded the first one, <laughs> but not the second one or the third one yet. But I'm working on it. That was, that's my weekend plans. Okay. Okay. That's you say that like it's a bad thing. I feel like I would rather not. Watch you be disappointed in me. I'm disappointed in, my else, in myself enough for the rest of you. So, do, do, do. Yeah, oh no, this, I can't do it this way. I tried doing it this way and I cannot. One thing I don't like about Canvas is it doesn't, sometimes it makes me mad. I have to do exactly what I just did, again. Just this time I have to make sure it's an assignment. Even though it says quiz. And for your class, I'll go ahead and make this do Monday just because I forgot to post it today. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to change the due date there real quick. Okay, so for those of you in the afternoon class, you have until Monday to hand in your resume. Beautiful. Okay, all right. Um, so today, I really wanted to show you a very important video. Um, we've been talking about technical writing, so uh, this is a video about why technical communication is important. Um, this also happens to be one of my favorite mo videos on YouTube because it always makes me laugh. And exclusive sports. Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. Get all three for only $12.99 a month. Hold on. Sorry. Forgot to do that. Okay. As a new strategic initiative to increase market penetration, maximize brand loyalty, and enhance intangible assets. In pursuit of these objectives, we start a new project which will require seven red lines. I understand your company can help us in this matter. Of course. Walter here will be the project manager. Walter, we can do this, can't we? Yes, of course. Anderson here is our expert in all matters related to the road red lines. We've brought him on today to share his professional opinion. Nice to meet you. Well, you all know me. This is Justine, our company's design specialist. Hello. We need you to draw seven red lines, all of them strictly perpendicular. Some with green ink and some with transparent. Can you do that? No, I'm afraid <laughs> Let's not rush into any hasty answers, Anderson. That the task has been set and needs to be carried out at the end of the day. The third red line is nicely 
color of the line to be red. To draw a red line with green ink is, well, if it's not exactly impossible, it's pretty close to being impossible. What does that even mean? It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is possible that some people say suffering from color blindness, for whom the color of the lines doesn't really make a difference. But I'm quite sure that the target audience of your project doesn't consist solely of such people. So, in principle, this is possible. <laughs> I'll simplify. A uh, line as such can be drawn with absolutely any ink, but if you want to get a red line, you need to use red ink. What if we draw them with blue ink? Mm -hmm. It still won't work. If you use blue ink, you'll get blue lines. And what exactly did you mean when you talked about the transparent ink? Mm, how to explain? I'm sure you know what transparent means. Uh, yes, I do. And what a red line means. I hope I don't need to explain to you. <laughs> of course not. But you need to draw red lines with transparent ink. Do you describe what you imagine the end result would look like? Oh, come on, Anson, what we got here? Kindergarten. No, I'm just trying to no, get let's that. not waste our time with these unproductive quarrels. The task has been set, the task is plain and clear. Now, if you have any specific questions, then go ahead. You're the expert here. All right, let's leave aside the color for the moment. And you had something there also relating to perpendicularity. Seven lines, all strictly perpendicular. To what? Uh, to everything amongst themselves. I assume you know what perpendicular lines are like. Of course he does. He's an expert. Two lines can be perpendicular. All seven can be simultaneously perpendicular to each other. I'll, I'll show you. This is a line, right? Uh, yes. And another, is it perpendicular to the first line? Well... Yes, it is perpendicular. Exactly. Uh, wait, wait, I'm not done. And a third one, is it perpendicular to the first line? Yes, it is. But it doesn't cross the second line. They're both parallel. Not perpendicular. Oh, suppose so. There it is. Two lines can be put in the Can I have the pen? Exactly is stopping us from doing this. Geometry. Just ignore it. We have a task. Seven red lines. It's not twenty, it's just seven. Anderson, I understand you're a specialist of the narrow field. You don't see the overall picture. But surely it's not a difficult task to draw some seven lines. Exactly. Suggest a solution that any fool can criticize. No offense. But you're an expert. You should know better. Okay. Let me draw you two perfectly perpendicular red lines, and I will draw the rest with transparent ink. They'll be invisible, but I'll draw them. Would this suit us? Yes, this will suit us. Uh, uh, yes, but at least a couple with green ink. Oh, and, and I have another question, if I may. Uh, can you draw one of the lines in the form of a kitten? A uh, uh, one? In the form of a kitten. Market research tells us our users like cute animals. It would be really great if we could no. draw them. Line. Look, I can of course draw you a cat. I'm no artist, but I can give it a try, but it won't be a line anymore, it'll be a cat. A line and a cat, these are two different things. A kitten, not a cat, but a kitten. A little, 
cute, cuddly. Cats, on the other hand, yeah, are... Like a different Anderson, at least hear her out. She hasn't even finished speaking and you're already saying no. I got the idea, but it's impossible to draw a line in the form of a cat. Good. What about a bird? So, where do we stop? What are we doing? Uh, seven red lines, uh, two with red ink, two with green ink, and the rest with transparent. Did I understand correctly? Yes. Excellent. In which case, that's everything, right? Oh, I almost forgot. We also have our red balloon. Do you know if you could inflate it? What do I have to do with balloons? It's red. Anderson, can you or can you not do this? A simple question. As such, I can, of course, but... Excellent. Organize a business trip. We'll cover the expenses, go over to their location, inflate the balloon. Well, this is very productive. Thank you all. Can I ask you one more question, please? When you inflate the balloon, could you do it in the form of a kitten? Of course I can. I can do anything. I can do absolutely anything. I'm an expert. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. I mean, that's what you have to do in a job, basically. That's why it's one of my favorite videos. Um, what it has to do with technical communication is the uh, the thing about communication is we take it we take it for granted so often um, this is obviously a ridiculous example on purpose um, every one of those people <coughs> were acting and doing a pretty good job if you ask me um, but it was uh, you know, what happens when you get into a place where you're smarter than everyone else in the room and they're asking you to do ridiculous things and you have your company president basically devaluing everything you say because they want to sign a contract and you have the other company that just wants something that isn't even realistic. How do you handle that? Um, you will be put in that situation probably where you're the smartest person in the room. Um, that's the unfortunate thing about being a scientist or an engineer is it happens more than once in your lifetime. And when that happens, how are you going to handle other people? Well, if you use good, proper technical communication, you prevent yourself from getting sued, you communicate your point most effectively and most efficiently, and uh, if they have any questions, usually you can just refer them back to your own presentation, your own writing, that kind of a thing. So technical communication is important because it prevents situations like this from coming about. Um, not to say this won't ever happen. Okay, um, what we are going to be doing now is uh, I want you to work on your resumes. I want you to work on your annotated bibliographies. Your annotated bibliographies are due on Monday at midnight. Uh, you will be turning in one of them with your partner. If both of you want to turn in the same annotated bibliography, great. Uh, otherwise, you only need to really turn in one. Uh, you'll get the same grade your partner gets. Um, the thing about the annotated bibliography, there's a template for the annotated bibliography that's located on Canvas. There's also a sample annotated bibliography if you want to know what one looks like. Okay. I will expect you to use ASME citation styles. If you want to know how to do ASME citation styles, you can use Zotero Bib. The link to that is in the announcements on Canvas. Hey, the, it'll take you to the style guide that uh, uh, the library set up for us. Okay, if you have any questions, now would be the time to ask me, or at least now, between now and the end of class. Uh, I will give you some time on Monday to continue to work on this. And then 